Are Listen, you getting jealous about the Brent Chapman love and now you're even are trying you man? I had to do something trying to different. go and get the glasses <laughs> look also. Come on, bro. Come well, on, listen, man. <laughs> there's a reason for these glasses you'll see here in a second. So listen, let's get into this. I mean, listen, I had a great holiday so far, and I believe a lot of people were enjoying the holidays festivities, and we're here to give you all the relieving of your stress, all the fun entertainment and comedy along with sports talk. And Russell Wilson is not having a lot of fun entertainment, Brent. The big conversation right now is Russell Wilson is benched, and it doesn't look like you're benched for the rest of the season. It looks like you're benched and you're leaving the team. And this came out of nowhere. Brent, what, what do you think happened here? What's going on, you know, with Russell Wilson? Yeah, so if you read some, there's a lot of rumor going on right now about what happened. But apparently rumors. some of this rumors, but I suspect it's Russell Wilson's agent trying to set the record straight, right? So, and you would know a little bit about that, Brandon. Wait a second, I agent. forgot to mention... I know that you have a face for radio, but I forgot to say that you look a lot better in low death. I, I meant do. To say that that's right. And I apologize. If there's, a, <laughs> if there's a way to do HD for Brandon in, in low people, death for me, people watching you this probably the one, best bro. picture. Uh, the fuzzier <laughs> no. my face, the better. That that's 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 your tagline right there. Oh God, uh, people love it. I, listen. It's all love here. I hope everybody knows that. Brent is the man here. We already know. But he looks better in low death. He also said that. Yeah. So so <laughs> Russell Wilson, apparently they went to him and there was some conflict over injury clauses in his contract. And they wanted to make some changes in his contract, uh, make some adjustments because he isn't he isn't performing at the level they thought he was. And he basically told them, you know, no right and so their response was a couple weeks later just to bench him and uh, assumingly cut him and get rid of him so you know so i don't know what, the... what you're saying is obviously and this is a lot of this is what hypothetical theory conversation it's buzzing rumor, around it's, right? it's rumor but it does make sense that the team would try to leverage him to to get him to take a, a pay cut and he told them no so they said fine we're i think what they were doing was seeing is this guy usually teams wait see brandon just to kind of educate people usually teams wait till in the off season and they'll go to the guy and they'll say hey look we'll bring you back but it'll reduce salary because you're not performing at the level of the salary if not we'll cut you right so but, what but the broncos big, did was the broncos are saying the Broncos made that decision right now. If you're not going to, like, we already know what we're going to decide in March or April. So we're just going to go tell them right now, reduce your salary now, or we're going to cut you. Yeah. And if he doesn't want to reduce his salary, then we'll just play the other guy. At least we get a few games to see what the other guy can do. Listen, I kind of like, if you look at it like that, right, what you just said, I kind of like what the Broncos did in that position, if you explain it like that, saying, look, we already know what we're doing in the offseason. We already know what it looks like. We're coming to you now way in advance. This is what we want to do to keep you here. If they did that, yes. I have a little more respect for the Broncos because they came and they said, look, this is what we want to do. And that, that would make sense to a lot of people. But there, here's the problem I got. Russell Wilson was pretty good with Seattle. right? I'm not going to say nine, he, I'm nine gonna say he was really good. Bowls. Did they win a Super Bowl? If they didn't, they were definitely in one. They were in nine, there, yes. nine, they were nine in Pro Bowls. Here's right? the, but Brent, here's the problem. The minute he got to Denver, it's been turmoil ever since. And I'm not saying he's a bad person. He's a really good mentor type player. He's those quarterbacks. Obviously, we're not going to put him in the Tom Brady conversation, Peyton Manning, you know, all these no, other guys, you know, Patrick Mahomes. But what I will say, below that level of quarterbacks, right? He was in those kind of conversations for years at Seattle. He gets to Denver, and they're terrible. But then he battles back, and this season people are like, oh, wait, Russell Wilson is back. Russell Wilson is back. The Broncos are getting better. So th that's why this comes as a surprise. If this would have happened before they won those several games, then it would have been like, look, Russell Wilson, this isn't working out. Whether it's you or us or the team, it makes more sense. But because they started winning some games and people started 
believing in Russell Wilson again, that's where all of a sudden he gets benched. People are like, oh, Russell Wilson's playing good. That's why fans, probably people on the team, they probably have a little bit more inside scoop. I think there's more going on than that. But I'm going to pull this up right now. This Twitter, you know, this tweet here that went out by Russell Wilson. God has a plan for him, right? Like a lot of people reach out to God in these positions. God has a plan for me looking forward to the next, you know, the next step, the next chapter. What does it look like for Russell Wilson to now, listen, he's not getting any younger. It isn't like he left Seattle and he's back in his early 20s. I mean, now he's there for several years. He didn't have a really good situation going on there. And now, Brent, he's moving on to his next chapter. What do you think he means by that? And I I know you said something yesterday. I'll let you... Oh Dude, yeah. Your does it does this show go by without me mentioning Steeler fan? <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Steeler <laughs> fan. I mentioned that you guys need to give up on your hopeless op- opportunities to try to find and draft a replacement quarterback and go buy one. Well, guess what? The football gods have answered the Brent Chapman question for you. This is an Go opportunity. Get Russell freaking Wilson. I could, this is what I will say. I can now personally. Now you're going to agree with me? I can, per, I can personally admit, or, or not admit, but I can visualize Russell Wilson playing in a Steelers uniform. I'm serious. I, I really think that. That is a place that Russell Wilson can play, and it will bring a lot of excitement to Steelers fans. Not that he's the number one pick right now, but you can get a guy that is well-seasoned, that knows football, that can give you, I believe, three solid years. If you want to do a three-year contract, one-year, re- I think one-year renewable is not good. That's a deal like kind of like Mike, Aaron Rodgers. Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin will win a Super Bowl with Russell Wilson. I'm just telling you. I, listen, he. he they like will Russell be Wilson, very, honestly. very good with Russell Wilson. I, I'm just, I, I'm just telling you. That should give Mike Tomlin a real quarterback and watch what happens. That should have been the headline. Again, if you're just jumping in right this very second, we're talking about Russell Wilson has a God's plan. What he's looking for next. Brent said this, and I kind of like this idea. I wish I could battle him in this conversation, but I kind of like that Russell Wilson has an opportunity to get shopped around. The Steelers fans, you need a quarterback unless you want to ride out next year with Kenny Pickett again and try to build that momentum again. Russell Wilson is a quarterback you might get a little cheaper. Hey guys, thanks for watching and tuning into the Brandon Mason Show. Please remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.